What's up you guys? So today I'm going to do Tootie's hair for school and let me show y'all. This is the hair that I'm going to be using and this is as many of you guys who have been watching my videos and y'all know the difference between the Marley and the Kinky Twist hair. This is the Kinky Twist hair and I'm gonna be using this to install Kinky Twist. Okay, so first I'm gonna show y'all her braid pattern. As y'all know, this part right here wouldn't be me if I didn't leave this out. So her perimeter around the front is going to be left out. So, and I will eventually take this down, but for right now, I'm focusing on the back. So this is the part that, go ahead and turn around so she, they can see your pattern. And this is her back braid pattern, very simple. It's just going back and then I flip the back up, the, the ends up in the back and connected each one as I braid it across. And then her back, I was able to, I think I braided this one going back and then I braided it into a snake and connected them into the top as well. So yeah, that's her braid pattern. Okay, so just in case you guys missed it, I'm gonna show the braid pattern again. Today I'm gonna to be using Kinky Twist hair. She wanted to rock my signature style if you guys have not seen the video of me installing them in my own hair, I will put the link down below in the description box or leak a card up above. I just realized that I have 3 million plus views on that video. So thank you so much to everyone who watched that video and supported me. So as you guys can see, the pack comes in two bulks and at the top of each bulk, there is some really straight hair. You wanna detach the kinky twist hair from that straight hair at the tip. You don't want that on the tips of your twist, so cut it. <laughs> you will take one of the bundles, remove the rubber band from the bundle, and then separate that bundle into three sections. Just like that. You're gonna take one of the sections and you're gonna to proceed to crochet it or latch hook it onto the corn roll. Once you latch hook it underneath and pull it through, then you're gonna split it in half and proceed twisting. And you will do this until you fill up each corn roll. I've gotten so many questions on whether to twist left or right. It all depends on the hair. I've had bags of hair that twist to the left. I've had bags of hair that twist to the right. If you twist to the left and it's looking a hot mess, obviously you gotta go to the right. Same way vice versa. So I get a lot of people in the comment section saying you gotta twist this way in order for you gotta twist. No, that's not it. It's based on the hair. So for the back, I'll be leaving a space in between every twist. And that's so it won't be super full. Now, unless you like super full. I ain't gonna lie, I like some big hair now. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to show you guys how easy this can be. Ladybug has not tried kinky twist hair yet. She wanted to help out, so I decided to let her demonstrate how she does them. And just so y'all know, she did this whole right side and also the back bottom. 
This is her first time ever using Kinky Twist hair, so I think that she is doing an absolutely good job. So thumbs up for my ladybug. She definitely helped chop the time down by at least an hour and a half. So that's all of part one. Please stay tuned for part two to see how I install the perimeter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all be blessed.